We take a lot of pictures when we investigate. A lot. Often more than 1,000 full-spectrum digital photos per investigation. Sometimes we catch something compelling, but most of the time the photos look like these, with nothing out of the ordinary. During our investigation of Grapevine Farms, a picture was taken that is easily one of the best that has ever come out of one of our investigations. What makes it even more interesting is that it isn't in night vision or full spectrum, nor was it taken with any of our full spectrum cameras. It wasn't even taken by us. This photo was taken by Tim, one of the owners of Grapevine Farms, on his cell phone. We talked a lot about this photo in our review video, but we felt it was worth taking a deeper look here. This photo is compelling for a couple of reasons. First of all, the face in the top part of the photo is very clearly a face. Our minds can play tricks on us sometimes, and it is the nature of the human brain to make faces out of things. But this is not the case here. This face obviously has a three-dimensional quality to it. You can make out a chin, mouth, and even eyes. It even appears to cast a shadow from the light below. Speaking of the light below, that is the other mystery of this photo. We still cannot determine where this bright light is coming from. In the picture, my flashlight is aimed at my body, so that's not the source. Emily is sitting in the far staircase. She's using a parabolic microphone and not her flashlight. Tim, who snapped the photo, didn't even have a flashlight. Perhaps Tim used his flash. Could that be what's reflecting back at us, causing this bright light? Here is the moment the picture was taken, as captured by our stationary camera in the hallway. If Tim had used a flash, we would have seen it in the footage. But as the footage shows, it simply isn't there. Could it be a reflection off an ornament or decoration? Well, if you looked at this exact same spot during the day and factor in where the light and face would have appeared in the picture, you can clearly see there is nothing reflective in the door frame that would cause this light. Now, compare the two photos side by side. We also have to look at the height of both the light and the face. The light appears to be coming from the top corner of the door frame, putting it well over six feet in the air. The face would then have to be positioned on the wall between the door frame and the ceiling, putting it almost eight feet in the air. This picture still has us fascinated, and we will continue to try and find out the answers to all of the questions that this photo inspires. During our recent ghost hunt event at Grapevine Farms, we asked David Hiltz, whose tombstone sits in one of the rooms and is believed to haunt the location, if it was his face that we captured. We got an answer. Tim took a picture that had a face in it. Was that you, David? Oops. Tim took a picture that had a face in it. Was that you, David? Oops. Is this David confessing that we caught him on camera? We can't say for certain, so it's up to each one of us to decide for ourselves. What is certain, however, is that this will always be one of our favorite photos ever taken during an investigation. Even if it wasn't a member of our team who took it. As always, thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also follow our day-to-day -day adventures by liking our Facebook page. For any more information about us, or to contact us directly, please visit our website, www.orangecountynyparanormal.com.